Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future. Long time no play, huh? Um, <laughs> yeah, long time no play. Um, I've just been really busy. Um, the end of the month, I always get pretty busy. I don't know why, but I, I just do. But, um, anyways, back to the game, and I do have actually an exciting game through play game through <laughs> playthrough that I know a lot of you guys will like and it's gonna be coming sometime soon sometime you know this week or so and I know you guys are going to like this one because I get questions on it all the time so you guys will very much like like it uh, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is drop our kid off on the floor um, indigo on the floor and we are going to switch the future instead of utopian we are going back to the dystopian future uh, so pretty much we need to go ahead and trigger this event uh, you want to change the future for the worse let's start by causing some destruction and mayhem all right use the meteor uh, magnet three times outside I know how this works pretty much you get this big old magnet and Emmett just arrived. You get this big old magnet and you come outside and you use this to attract three space objects. Um, now they're not going to be those huge friggin meteors that you know will randomly hit and possibly kill your sims and you can sell them for like thousands of simoleons. Trust me I've done it after it killed my sim. But it's not those. It's just small little space rocks. Um, that your sims will re receive from the magnet so yeah it's pretty cool and uh, you can sell them if you want they're not worth too too much but you know simoleons are simoleons <laughs> simoleons can't buy you happiness though just kidding my sims are pretty damn happy when i get them a new tv all right attend a dooms uh sayers meeting at city hall so pretty much now what you have to do is you have to come to City Hall and attend a meeting for people who think uh, Doomsday or trying to convince people that Doomsday is in the near future. So pretty much uh, she's gonna come here and attend their meeting and, and see what they're talking about. It says, isn't the meteor magnet grand? I love using it to light up the night sky. Okay, it's daytime, but all right. Um, am I missing something here? Probably. Um, what I really, really want to do in this LP, by the way, this LP is not going to be too, too long. There's not much for me to, um, really explore, but it's, it's going to be at least 20, 20 or so parts, 20 or more than 20 parts. Um, for those who are wondering, I really want to get Simoleon so we can have a nice, like a, a nice house. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm really excited. And I'm also working on a house video for you guys. I, I just, I have a lot of mind, so get excited. Convince, um, six sims that the sky is falling. Alright, so pretty much now you get this moodlet right here that she thinks the sky is falling. Prophecies of the Acopo- I can never say this word. Acopolis have convinced Brandy that the night- the end is nigh. She's freaking out to an appropriate degree. Okay. Thanks for attending the League of Concerned Doomsayers meeting. I hope they had free, they had free coffee and donuts. All right, so we're gonna come over here and convince this little chiquita that the sky is falling. Who's it? You have to do this uh, for a total of six people. So let's go do that to her. If somebody told me the sky was falling, I'd probably cry. <laughs> She's like, oh no. Alright, let's uh go do it to these two people right here. Hey bitch. The sky's falling. Um, when I watched 2012 for the first time, I actually cried. Um, I was, my biggest fear, for those who don't know, my biggest fear of all time is actually tsunamis. I know. You guys are probably like, where you live, do those even happen? 
they're not known where I live, but they still terrify me. Like, I am so terrified of tsunamis. Like, they are... When I watched 2012, oh my gosh, I, like, cried because it scared me so bad. And when it happened to Japan... I did so much research on it. I like I learned what to do. It was it's like my biggest fear. So I learned, you know, the precautions and what to do and yeah. She's really pretty. Oh. Sorry that we had to do this to you, but you're pretty. I hope that makes you feel better. She is. Look at her. She's really pretty to me. Oh. You're cute. All right, uh, let's go convince this fairy over here. This fairy with tiny little girl wings that this guy <laughs> is falling. Boy, boy, are those Gucci? Are those Gucci on your feet? All right, let's see. They have so much in common. Oh, don't be an arse. Come on, man. He's a genius. He doesn't believe it. He's probably throwing some freaking math at us. Like, actually, this won't happen until this. And blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Go suck a pickle. Let's come over here. To Scott. Scott with the ponytail. He's a teenager. He should fall for it. Yeah, he's taking it. He's like, please no. Sorry that we had to do this to you, Scott. It's our job. It's our job. Uh, who's over here? How many more people do we have? I don't know. I think we only have a couple more people. So let's go over here and do it to this guy. Hello. Hello, hello. Peter. Oh. Trash talk the environment to six uh, people. All right, we are going to go ahead and head home, actually. Uh, great work. After you talk to the community, I've been uh, hearing meteor talk on every corner. So we're going to go ahead and do that tomorrow. But for now, we are going to go ahead and head home and live our life and try to get that future ready. But for tonight, we are in the we are in the present day times here in Hidden Springs. Not a big deal. Um, honestly, this part, this LP will probably be like 25 to 30 parts. Um, uh, why I'm saying that is because there's not too much to explore, you know what I mean? There's like stuff to do, but most of it is not even into the future gameplay, you know what I mean? Like, I, on my channel, pers personally, I can't talk right now because I'm like crazy right now. On my channel, personally, I want to do every single expansion pack there is. And, you know, um, I want to play every Sims game that there is. So, you know, you can expect a redo of The Sims 2, uh, The Sims 1, all of that on my channel. I want my channel to have everything Sims. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, you guys will see some of that coming from my channel throughout this year 2014 that's my goal is to get as much simming content on my channel as possible along with other games <laughs> so i'll tell you guys a little bit a little bit of my 2014 goals while my sims are eating i really really want this channel to be something that i never thought it could be i never thought i would get to 200,000. Uh, subscribers never in a million years you know what I mean I never thought I would get to where I am today like I literally when I uploaded my video I was talking to nobody like I thought nobody was gonna watch my videos you know because I didn't even I didn't even know people were gonna watch my videos so that's why it's like so crazy for me because I never had the intention of like having an audience or you know having all these great things come with it so 2014 I really 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 want to get involved with my gaming and for those who don't know yet I am going to California this summer and I am doing a meetup for those who you know live in the Cali area very excited to meet you guys and I just I can't wait for this channel to grow and expand and I can't wait so yeah I don't know I'm really excited um, and I hope you guys are all right Brandy 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 Smandy uh, let's go ahead and have her go dream about something um, I want to get her a new bot book, but we can only buy those, I'm pretty sure, in the future. Um, so.
So when we go in the future, we're going to get her another bot book. Uh, but for now, let's have Aunt Lily play with Indigo. So uh, teach Indigo how to talk real quick. Cosmo's like, I hate you all. Especially you, Indigo. Especially you. <laughs> Indigo's kind of tired, but she's close to uh, doing it completely. Uh, let's see. We are going to dream about rushing water because tsunamis. Um, yeah. But Indigo should learn uh, how to talk tonight. She's so close. Cosmo was teaching her. <laughs> Come on. You're almost there. So close. Yay. All right, so now Indigo can officially speak. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. Ooh, crud. Okay. So I'm going to have Lily go to bed in a second. Cosmo's going to take care of Indigo. And I do want to get Cosmo a little boyfriend or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but I want to wait till we go to the future. Where, you know, we have our house and we're making money and everything. Because we have better jobs in the future than here at home. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. But I will get back to you guys in the morning when we are going to wake up and uh, talk to six in so i will see you guys then Alrighty, so it's morning time now and i didn't know this but we can actually trash talk the environment to our sims ourselves. um so i can go ahead and trash talk to cosma about the environment <laughs> she's throwing some stuff on the ground oh she's throwing like dirt and stuff on the ground ew this is in our house come on cosma cosma you're just gonna pick that up now it's almost indigo's birthday how exciting Okay, really? Cosma? Cosma, what the ha what the F? Seriously. Stop. That's like terrifying. Like your family's just trying to have like a fucking a conversation and you're over here doing this. It's scary. It is. Oh drive me nuts. But I love you. Girl, you was cute too. Alright. I honestly am so crazy today and I'm so sorry if you're watching this because I'm going nuts and I don't know why. Well, before this I was having a Disney karaoke jam sesh. So that's probably why. Um, okay then. You just left that there for Cosma, you little arse. Alright, Brandy is going to go out to the park and, uh, Let's see, where is a lot of people? Uh, is there a bunch of people here? The Fall Fest? Ah, oh, there's a few. Let's go trash talk to this guy right here. <laughs> Boy, you do not look right in your outfit. Why are you wearing a choker? It's Bert Alto. This is so messed up. I hate littering. I literally hate littering. Oh, this makes me feel so bad. I hate littering. Come here, Mindy. Oh, see, thank you, Mindy, for setting her. Sh she's neat, so that would make sense. But yeah, thank you, Mindy. I think it's messed up too. Save the environment. You know what I mean? We li we all live on the same earth. Let's all try to keep it clean. It only makes sense, you know? Freaking people complain about the earth being so messed up and dirty and disgusting, but nobody puts forth an effort to keep it clean. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> me over here ranting. Uh, let's go somewhere like once again the park or kind of like the grand central part of the town all right let's go over here and talk to uh this werewolf over here who actually needs to calm down he's walking like a damn creep oh and he has fleas oh <laughs> but yeah we're gonna come on over here and talk to him and i'm just trying to get to the dystopian future i i really am we have to do all of this just to get to the dirty future. How exciting. 
Here is Brandy. Oh, he doesn't like it very much either. He loves the outdoors. It, it would make sense. Uh, let's come over here to uh, this like alien looking elf chick. Hi. She doesn't like it very much either. She like what? What's up? Are you like a plant sim or, um, okay. Well, where to go now? Is there anybody here? There is. That's rare. Let's go over here. All right. Let's come over here to this little man who looks super mysterious and really cute. Uh, <laughs> and come talk to him about, uh, why we should litter, I guess. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very funny. All right, we're going to head home and do it to Lily as well. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Stay, stay. There's a guy right here, the guy with the little fairy wings. How cute. How super kawaii little fairy wings and his Gucci <laughs> shoes he doesn't like it very much either whatever man don't get on to me you already did it to him he didn't like it either this is harder than it looks all right we're just gonna go home I guess and do it to Brandy not Brandy Lily wait there's another person here oh why do they keep doing that Alright, let's go do it to this chick. Come on, woman. She's like, yes. Alright, let's go home now and do it to Lily. And then we should be good, I think. I wasn't keeping count, but I think we'll be good. Okie dokie. Alright. Where's Lily? There she is. Trash talk the environment. There we go. You were so convincing. For a moment, I thought you really did despise the environment. <laughs> Here's Emmett and look at him in his like little state form. What the, what are you? Did you die or a hologram I'm guessing oh congratulations Brandy has improved her advanced technology skill to level five now she can program chocolate mini gnome recipes for her food synthesizer uh, now she has additional dream pod dreams and she also unlocked a new sprite uh, animal all right so I think now we can activate our time portal, and I think it will be the dystopian future. And it is! Okay, so for the utopian, it is rainbow. For the regular future, it is blue, I'm pretty sure. And now for the dystopian future, it is golden orange. So, we are going to travel to the future, which... <laughs> Okay, why, okay, whoa, 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 why does your daughter, like, really not like you? That's really weird. She's probably like, Cosmo's more of a mother than you ever are. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and head to the future, and I will see you guys then. Yeah. Bye, guys. Alrighty, so now we are here in the future, and we can actually choose our home lot because we have our little home right here, and we also have the home base, um the community center which obviously I'm gonna pick our home which you know I freaking built so we're gonna do that but welcome to the dystopian future let's go ahead and zoom out and uh, take a look at it it is a uh, I think we have to come in here real quick okay acting weird it is 5 p.m. and it is nasty and murky and actually I don't think it's that bad but all the buildings pretty much look super nasty um they look really dirty and okay whoa look at that 
look at this world. I'm so used to, you know, the bright utopian world while we're here. So this is a, a scenery change. And I, I don't think it's as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it's not that pretty either. I, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's okay. And I, I like how it's dim though. I, I know that's weird, but I do like that. But our sins are now here. Awesome. And they're back to their home, which, you know, you guys know I like their little home. So, first thing that I wanted to do is go ahead and go to the bookstore because we really need to go. So, we're going to head there really quick and pick up our book, um, which I don't know if we can even afford. Uh, and then, let's see, let's see, let's see. We definitely need to get some promotion. So, what do you need, Cody, for your promotion? Uh, he needs, he should be getting a promotion actually, so let's just make sure he's in a good mood. Uh, he's a little bit hungry, so let's get him some food really quick. And, um, yeah, Cosmo's already slaving away in the kitchen. Uh, let's, uh, have a quick meal of, mm, some green salad, which is so ironic considering this is like the nasty, non-green, non-environment friendly feature. <laughs> Okay, Indigo. Okay, chill out! You know what? Sit there. Sit there. Cry. I don't care. Um, guys, I get this question a lot. You know, people are like, how do you feel comfortable? I don't know why this came to my mind. But how do you, like, feel comfortable talking to your, your computer, practically? And when I was younger, I know some of you guys do this, too, and just admit it. Um, I used to talk while I played The Sims. Like, is that weird? It can't be that weird. Ah, uh, where's the bot building? Uh, where's the bot building? Books. Oh, no. I thought they had one. Alchemy? No. Sheet music? No. It would be a skill. Oh. Bot buildings? Come on. Bot building. Bot. Yes! <laughs> we we don't have any money for it. All right, just head home, Brandy. We'll have to make some money at work and go get it in the morning. If you guys can hear my dog right now, I am so sorry. He's just a menace, always. All right, Brandy, come head home. And somebody feed feed Indigo, I guess. I guess. Let's give her some baby food. Here, Aunt Lily will give you some food. And Lily, clean that up. It, freaking Cosmo just made a beautiful freaking steak. Why don't you eat that? It's beyond me why these Sims do this. It really is. I feel like all my dogs are barking right now and I actually want to strangle them all. Don't worry, I don't strangle my dogs. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I didn't scare you guys too much. Um, but yes, lots of videos are in my head right now, which is awesome because, you know, when you're a YouTuber, especially a Let's Player, when you get these ideas and you just want to create them, you get so excited. And I am. I'm, I'm really excited to do these projects and I'm actually going to go work on one of them right after this video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this part don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up don't forget to go enter the holiday giveaway and don't forget to be awesome okay that was lame i love you guys <laughs> bye guys